hi guys welcome back in today's video i am going to show you guys a quick tutorial on how to use asana which is one of the best project management tools out there similar to ClickUp. so let's get into it today we're going to use their free plan just to get started and see how the entire platform works all right so once you log into your account you're going to enter some information like your email address your full name, your primary roles. So I'll put this as freelancer. I'll click continue. What kind of work do you do? So I work in marketing and I'll click continue. And what's the main objective for you to use this project management tool? So I'd say personal projects, coordinating tasks, hitting deadlines, and I'll click continue. So what's something you and your team are currently working on? So I'll put this as maybe social media marketing and I'll click continue. And what are a few tasks that you have to do uh, for this project? So I'll click draft a project brief. These are some of the tasks that I have to do for this project. So I'll click continue. And how would you group these tasks into sections or stages? So I'll put them as to do for now and I'll click continue. And then you can select the layout. So if you want to go for a list layout, it would look something like this. So there's your task name, your assignee, your due date, uh, your priority status and things like that. Or if you want it in a form of a board like that, you can play around with that as well. We also have a timeline tool, which is a great feature uh, to just see how your projects are running. What is the timeline for each one of them? And then the calendar tool as well. So really great options, uh, especially for somebody who is starting out in project management this is like a must-have toolkit so this makes your work a lot more easier i'm gonna stick to list and i'll click continue and over here you can also invite other people in your company on this board so you guys can collaborate together and work on this project i'll click continue for now so as you can see, we are all set. All right, so this is our board. And over here, you're going to see all the to-do list that we had, our assignees, the due date, and the priority. Um, over here, let's say if the project is completed and I want to add a status column, so I can always click, click plus and add that tab over here. Um, that feature is available in the Asana Premium, and currently we are using their basic pack, so we don't have the option to see that. Over here, you can always click uh the assignee name and you can invite other people as well via email and once they get into asana you can also assign the task to your other team members over here you can go in and set the due date for a certain project so really nice and comprehensive now let's say we have this line item over here that says draft a project brief when i click that i'm going to come to this section and over here i can add a nice description about what this task is all about i added something like hey in this task ashley is supposed to brief the creative team on the new social media campaign that we're going to run for october and that's it so as you can see our line item does have that description over here you can leave a comment as well so for example i can tag ashley and i can ju just say that hey can you work on this brief by friday and i can click comment and that way ashley will be tagged that hey she has to work on this project it's just an example but a really good way to see how you can customize each of these tasks and just make them more descriptive so everybody has visibility on what's going on in the team you can also attach file over here so if you have like a word document or an excel sheet you can click attach your file and download it from your computer and place it over here then we have this item which you can click to add subtask. So drafting a project brief also requires some pre-planning work, right? So I'm gonna add subtask like research with the internal team. So over here, I added things like, hey, we have to redo a research with the internal team. We have to set up an internal meeting to prepare this Word document. We have to ask the client any questions related to this brief. So these are some of the things we have to do in order to finish this line item. And then over here, I can assign a due date for each of these line items. So I want to do that by Thursday. And then I want to set up an internal meeting by next Monday and then asking questions. And I want to ask any sort of client related questions by Wednesday. So that's good. And I can again assign a certain team member who is responsible for doing each of these subtasks. So it looks nice and easy. And I am just going to close this. And over here, when I click this drop down arrow, I can see all the subtasks listed over here. So a really nice way to keep yourself organized, because of course, if you are running a project, it will have multiple things you have to do in the background, which needs to be completed for a certain task to be completed on time. So this just gives a nice view um, and also helps you stay organized. 
now the next thing i want to show you guys is the board feature which is where you can actually take a certain project or a task and put them in different sections then we have the timeline tool as well again we are in the free plan so we don't have access to it but essentially you can see the timelines got the calendar tool like we just talked about previously you also have messages which is where you can send a message to your team member regarding a certain task or a project so this is the main uh, thing that you are going to use Asana for so it's a good way to learn how this whole platform works and if you want to add a different project you can also click plus icon over here you can click a new project and you can click a blank project and start the whole process so that way you can have different projects running simultaneously and you can check in with them to see how they are doing you can also click customize tab over here so if you want to customize how the project looks like you can do that as well you can also click apps so that way you can integrate your asana tool with your microsoft teams or google meet or even figma for that matter so everything stays nice and integrated you can also try the forms feature that they have anyways so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to use asana to get started with project management please let me know if you have any questions and yeah i shall see you guys in my next one till then take care bye now